your boy Chris with the Knicks. All right, so I just want to talk about the real daytime TV show and about Tamar getting fired. Now, the whole situation to me is ridiculous. That came out of left field for me. You know, I've been watching the real since the six week sneak peek. And then I was hoping it came back on, and it did, because it was a pretty good show. And I was familiar with everybody. Like, Tamar, when she was in the Braxtons, the group, and then when she had came out with her solo album, not Love and War, but the very first one, If You Don't Want to Love, the self-titled one. And then um, Tamara, who is some sister sister. <clears throat> Then I saw Lonnie Love on uh, that TV show, VH1, I Love the 90s, I Love the 80s, the I Love series. Um, and then <clears throat> Jeannie Mai was the only one I wasn't really familiar with. Um, Adrian Bailon, 3LW, Cheetah Girls. <clears throat> then she was dating Rob Kardashian. So I was familiar with all of them except Jeannie. But the show was, was pretty good, pretty chill, you know. It's a good show. And then Tamar is, you know, her over-the-top personality. The thing about Tamar's personality is that either you love her or you don't. You know, she's one of those people, just like me. You know, either you rock with me or you don't. You love me or you don't. Love me or hate me, I'm still an obsession. And Tamar is still an obsession. You know, she will rise from this. And then the record label dropped her, like, silently. Like, how low-key was that? Like, dang, y'all couldn't even tell her? Yeah, low key dropped her, but God is good, and it's, you know she will bounce back from this, because we all know Hollywood <clears throat> builds you up to tear you down. Even some people that you hang around with, they build you up to tear you down, and I won't be watching the show anymore. And I wasn't just watching it just for Tamar, but you know it will be weird with her out there. You know, just like when she was sick. You know, it was just kind of like, it, you still, we still watched it because we know she was coming back, but it was just weird, you know. You know, because that situation could have been, you know, worse because, you know, it could have left a son without a mother and it could have left a, fa um, a husband without a wife because she was real ill when she was on Dancing with the Stars. But, um, yeah, I just think, you, and her husband was a, a executive producer too, you know, so they was probably like, oh, you know, these niggas got too much money. Cause you know when black people start doing good, you know they don't. People don't like them. When we acting like a coon or buffoon, they like that. But when we actually <clears throat> start rising up in, you know, the media. So like I was saying, when we start rising up in the media, you know they don't like seeing that. And I'm not saying all white people, because if this doesn't relate to you, then I'm not talking about you. But if you're racist, then I'm talking to you. So. Then Lonnie Love came out with her video. Her video seemed sincere, but Tamar unfollowed her. And then when she, because uh, when that video, um, when Tam when K. Michelle was picking on Tamar, you know, call her a Muppet, and then Tamar was crying over it, I did see Lonnie Love, you know, kind of laughing at that. Now, it, now my thing is that you should have, you could have waited to laugh at that afterwards. You know, once she got back in her feelings, when she started, you know, feeling like her old self, then you could have, like, laughed at it. But I'm not when she was crying. You know, that's kind of low. And that's why a lot of love started blocking people, because <laughs> she knew she was wrong. So, you know, I, her video kind of half, you know, for me. Um, Jeannie Mai, mm, I don't feel like her and um, Tamar was ever friends. And I don't think they did could stand each other. Like I said, you can't fake the funk forever. And I think Janie Ma was just trying to fake the funk, but you can't fake it forever, you know. Like I said, the truth will never be a lie. And a lie will never be the truth. You know, the truth will always gonna remain the same whether you like it or not. Some people don't like the truth. You know, in this generation, some people will um, just stop talking to you rather than uh, admitting to what they did was wrong. You know, that's just kind of what generation we live in today. And so the thing about it is, you know, the, next Thursday at 9 on uh, the Braxton family, they're going to show where 
she was uh, where she's talking about how she felt about getting fired. Uh, I hope she gets her own talk show. She's very funny. Like I said, she's a breakout star. You know, she's the one who wanted it. Other than Tony for the um, as a singing career, the dream. And um, she has a good support system, so I, she'll be fine. You know, that is something to be you know side swept about. You know, I've had it happen to me. You know. Cause you, you do have shady you have to work and I will probably do a video on this but you do have to watch out for shady people in the workplace because you do have a lot of people who could be secretly jealous of you or you could be doing a better job at what they doing and they're not really getting they shine so they're gonna try to you know dim your lights but um like I said everything you do will come back to you tenfold you know I support Tamar, you know, I won't be watching the show anymore, and I'll be at work most of the time so when it comes on, so I won't, it won't really be a loss to me, you know, it'd be more a loss to the real, because a lot of Tamar shows was watching the show, so that's mostly your revenue that's going down, you know, the Tamar shows is like the second beehive, you can't play with them, so... You know, my thoughts, I guess my thoughts on the situation is that, like I said, there's shady people in the workplace, and I know this by hand, and you have to be aware of your surroundings. Also, if for Tamar, um, you know, people say she's ratchet, she's mean, you know, her that's just her persona, like Mariah Carey, like any other people you have a, a persona you have to have a character to you or else in Hollywood how they gonna parody you how is somebody gonna remember you and Tamar is not mean when has she ever been mean you know I think we all do say something about people every once in a while but she's not a mean person people like that is actually caring it's actually people who pretend to be nice is the ones you need to watch out for and I know that firsthand. you know like Jeannie might you know you know, you can cut me with that bull. Like I said, it's people who <laughs> pretend to be nice is the ones you gotta watch out for. You know, some people put up defense mechanisms. Like I said, everything is case by case. I'm just speaking out in general terms, but yeah, I just want to see how this all gonna play out. You know, I didn't want to jump to make a video. You know, just to make a video first without having my facts. You know, because all the girls now they posted something on um I mean it's kind of like they seem like Tamar dead but she ain't dead but they all posted um uh, you know they um condolences of her getting fired on their Instagram you know only ones I really believed was Adrian sort of and I really believed um Tamara's cause Tamara ain't shady like that you can tell she's always you know good a good person so and her her mother and father raised her very, very good so a very loving family. But yeah, that's my take on it. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. Uh, you know where to leave them down in the comment section below. My hat's off to Tabar. You will do good. You will get through this. Um, until then, this will be your boy, Chris, to the next. Peace.